Okay, so before we start the physics, I'm gonna do some organization. So uh, make a new folder, call it eyes. Then shift select everything from eye left open to brow right form, and then drag it in the folder that you just created. You can color code your folders, and I'm just gonna make it match Poo Poo's eyes. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and delete brow left and right x and brow left and right angles because VTube student doesn't track these parameters so you don't really need to do it. Then I'm going to make three physics parameters name it I left physics one and then check blend shape. Make sure your ranges are at negative 30, 0 and positive 30. I'm just going to replicate it to make physics two and three. I'm going to drag it all the way to the front. Then select everything inside of iris close. Create a warp deformer, call it iris p for physics. And I want it 2 by 2 and 5 by 5. Then add three keyforms on i left p1, drag to the left. I'm going to squish it a little. You know, the 12 principles of animation. Squish and squash. I drag to the right and squash it. Then add two keyforms, add I left P2, drag to the left. And I'm just gonna do the same thing but onto the borders. Like people have different ways of doing eye jiggles. Just keep experimenting with Life 2D and you'll develop your own jiggles later. And then grab the highlight. And I should not have named the two highlights the same thing, but it's okay. Add two keyforms, at P1 and P2. And I'm basically just Squish and squashing the highlight, small and big, up and down. And for P2, I'm doing uh, left and right. So remember when we did eyeball X and Y, we had the synthesized corners. So for blend shapes, it calculates the corners for you. And it's really good for physics because you can add a lot more parameters and you don't have to think about synthesizing corners. Then I'm going to be fancy and add three keyforms on the big light. And just make the light shine a bit more and less. Then I'm going to also add some physics on the pupil. Remember, squish and squash guys. Okay, now I want to test out the pupil physics, but before we need to go to the menu, settings for eye blinking and lip sync, and check eye left open and eye right open at eye blinking. Now we go to modeling, physics settings, click add, and name it eye, eye left physics, technically the right one, but whatever, click OK. Then in input settings, click add, select both eye opens and eyeball X and Y, and adjust the effectiveness to these numbers. And these are the inputs for your physics pendulum. Then I'm going to add three pendulums, but before I adjust them further, I'm going to go to output settings and click add, and select all three eye physics, click OK, then right click on scale, edit all values in the column to 50. Then your iris should already have some physics, but I'm going to adjust the pendulum to something like this. I highly recommend you just play around with these numbers and then you can see how the pendulum changes its behavior depending on the numbers you change. So basically how physics work in Life 3D is that each dot on the pendulum corresponds to the number that you assign to each of your physics parameters in your output settings. And you can see the dots moving in sync. Then I feel like the eyeballs are jiggling a bit too much, so I changed the scale to 40, and then I changed the shaking to 0.8. So when you're satisfied with the result, I'm going to save my pendulum as a preset so I can just select it next time. So I click add in presets, and I named it I, but honestly I should have just named it like three pendulums because I'm going to use it later on for things other than I. But what is going to be used for eyes is go to input settings, in the presets, click add, and that, name it I. Then we'll just save your two I open and I will X and Y as a preset. And you can just move around your IR open to see how your physics is moving. 
And then I realized I wanted some uh, squish and squash on my big highlight too. So I just went back and did some of that. Physics to me is all about adjusting here and there until your jiggles feel right. And uh, I changed up the pendulums a little bit and this is what I ended up with. Now that I am happy with my iris jiggles, I am going to rig eyelash jiggles next. So first I'm going to find my eyelash deformer and drag it into eyelid. Then select both eyelid and eyelash, create a deformer, name it eyelid physics. And adjusting it to fit a little bit more, give the deformer three keyforms on P1 and P2 and drag P1 to the left. And then I'm just squishing my eyelash down with my brush tool and do the opposite on the other side. Then for P2, I'm just doing the tip down and up. But I do want the single eyelash to bounce a little bit too. So I'll link it to P1, P2 and I'm just, you know, squishing down and up. And I did realize that the eye corner is detaching, so I also gave it the two parameters so that it stays together with the eyelash. Okay, I did have eye open and eye smile also attached to the eye corner. I don't think it's best practice, but it's a lazy method. So afterwards, I add physics to my under eyelash, but the up and downs are opposite from my upper eyelash because technically, your two eyelids are moving in opposite directions when your eyes open. Okay, so now I want to see what it looks like. And I go to physics settings again. Smooth eyelash physics. Yippee! Yeah, so that was all two parameters. And you might be wondering, what does the third one do? So the third parameter is going to be the scattered lights in his eyes bouncing faster than everything else and so these little lights were supposed to be additive and i just forgot and i add three keyforms on p3 and i start moving it to the side then i thought a bit more jiggle on the main light would also be cool Yeah, and for more jiggleness, I just make the shaking influence a lot bigger on my third pendulum. Then I just intensely stare at the eye blinking and then figure out where I want to change stuff. I ended up readjusting the scale up to 50, 50, and 60. And this was what I was happy with. And next, I'm going to rig the eyebrows. And because I have eyebrow shadow, I'm going to glue the shadow to the eyebrow so that it sticks with it wherever the eyebrow is. And the way I do it is I select the eyebrow, I control C, and then go in the eyebrow shadow, manual mesh edit, and erase where the eyebrow used to be. And then control V, and it will paste the meshing of my eyebrow. And then I escape to deselect. I then select the pen plus tool, to connect the gap. You'll see little blue lines appear when it's connected and click auto connect and done. Then select both eyebrow and eyebrow shadow. Click on the select tool and then circle the eyebrow, find the glue and click OK. So now if you select the eyebrow and move it around, you'll see that they're glued together, but we want to distribute the weight so that the eyebrow has the most influence. So we click on the yellow sign that says glue. And in my case, the shadow is red and the eyebrow is like green yellow. And I want the eyebrow to have the most weight. But if I directly put the glue on it, it's all red. So to do the opposite, I shift and drag until the eyebrow is all turquoise. And now if you drag the eyebrow, you can see that the shadow is completely dependent on it. And you can drag the eyebrow freely. So while selecting only the eyebrow, create a deformer and call it eyebrow. Give it three keyforms on brow R Y and brow R form. Drag brow R Y to the left and 
move your eyebrow deformer down. I am noticing some meshing for the shadow poking through, so I'm gonna go back to manual mesh edit, and grab the minus pen, and just delete all the points in the middle of the mesh. So now if I go back to my eyebrow, I think the issue is fixed. So the other side of the Y is upwards. And the brow form is frowning or surprised looking. Don't forget to synthesize corners when you're done. Okay, my eyebrow's a bit transparent so we can see through, but it's okay. No one will know. And now it's time to duplicate everything to the other side. I'm gonna first delete the other eye, but before I'm gonna pretend that my highlight is asymmetrical. So I wanna keep the highlight but delete everything else. I'll first drag the highlight outside of the eye folder, then delete the eye folder. Select the rigged eye folder, Control C, click yes, and Control V. Then while everything's selected, right click, reflect, check eyeball X, click OK. Then the duplicated eye, the folder itself will be inside of your other eye folder. So we want to drag that out. So that is two independent eye folders. Then drag the asymmetrical highlight inside of your duplicated eye in the iris folder and delete the old one. Then drag your highlight into the deformer iris P because that's where the old one was. And if anything is moving in a weird way, it's probably in the wrong deformer. Then I go into physics settings to check if everything looks right. And I notice that my iris is moving past the eyelid and it's clipped to the eye white. So I just need to squish the eye white down a little bit. So I find the eye white, but I notice that it's already linked to two animation parameters. So if I directly squish it like this, it would work for that key point only, but I have to do it for every single key point that it's attached to. It wouldn't be ideal because I have to change it four times. So my solution to this is to create a deformer and then directly squishing it on the deformer, then deleting the deformer. And that modification has been roughly applied to every single key point. I will then do the same on the other side. Now that I'm done with that, it is time to assign the writer eye to eye left parameters. As you can see, IR open is still connected to both eyes. So first we're going to duplicate all the physics parameters and, you know, change it to IR physics 1 and IR physics 2, IR physics 3. Then find your right eye folder, select all, right click on IR open, click change and change it to eye left open. Do the same for our smile, change it to eye left smile. Brow right Y goes to brow left Y and brow right form goes to brow left form. Then scroll up, change the three physics parameters to the three new ones that we just created. Okay, I just realized how confusing it is because my physics left and right are not the same as my open left and right. I'm sorry. Anyway, we go to physics settings and we click duplicate and we name it IR physics. Change the effectiveness of I open to I left open. Then go to output settings and delete everything I had there and add my IR physics, all three of them. Then I put the same numbers in scale. It was 50, 50, and 60 that I had previously. And now if you drag I left open and I right open, the physics are attached to each individually. Now we are done eye rigging and next is head XY.